guys, welcome back to the Oddcast with my friend Patrick. Alright, so what's the topic on today's episode of the Oddcast? Remember last year where we uh, were obsessed with that game? I know. I never played Five Nights at Freddy's besides last year and a little bit of this year. And I remember getting so traumatized. But I said, I didn't know what was going on. But you never said anything like, oh, so there's these robots in the game. I was expecting it to be like a fun little game. But no, we got even more crawling all around with a freaking little bangle. Used to call Mango Mango. I know, I always call it Mango. <laughs> so, um, uh, you want me to ask for the question or you? Uh, you, uh, what questions are you planning on asking? Questions like, what was your view about the game? Yeah. Uh, Oh yeah, the jump scares were pretty, pretty terrifying at first. But uh, I, in my opinion, uh, the more you play the game, the less you're going to be afraid of the jump scares. Is you yeah. just get them so much. And um, number two is probably the best because it has a more selection of jump scares. So then you don't get used to just one. Yeah. Like, all, all I like, just like one point that jump scare. Like, I want, there was different kinds of jump scares to really scare you, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, you're gonna ask me a question. Alright, what's your opinion on the new Pizzeria Simulator? <laughs> I don't like it. You did? Oh, yeah. I mean, I know why he made it. It's just, <clears throat> if you're going to make a Five Nights at Freddy's game, you got to make it scary. Yeah. I can see where the attraction is, though, so. Okay. Yeah. All uh, right. So, so, moving on to the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. Are you excited for it, Freddy? I've been excited for a few years now, um, and yeah. do you know the full story on the movie? Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to tell the audience real quick. So, um, the creator of Five Nights at Freddy's, Scott Cawthon, he um, teamed up with a video uh, movie-making company, and they pretty much took all of his characters and ideas and started making their own script without him and they said sure we're making a movie off of your things but you're not gonna have any say in what's gonna happen so he didn't like this so he fired all of them and got a new company to help him with it so now it's gonna be like 2020 before it comes out whenever it was supposed to come out uh this year Yeah. Um, I don't know, I, it's really unfortunate that Scott couldn't find a company that wasn't filled with feedback, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, okay, you go ahead. Okay, so, um, in your opinion, which one was the scariest game out of all, uh, the five? Yeah, the third one was pretty scary, but <clears throat> the only reason it was scary was because you actually got to move to different sides of the screen, and you were pretty much blind compared to all the others. Oh, yeah. One thing that didn't make number three scary, in my opinion, was there was only one actual jump scare. Yeah. 
and there were a bunch of other little ones that didn't actually give you a game over. Whenever I fir was first introduced it to it, yeah, um, I was probably nine years old, and um, you know Nate, yeah. Well, this five-year-old came up to me. She's just like, "Want to see something scary?" <laughs> no way. Yep. And it traumatized me. He showed me like the, um, the fan made songs for it and everything. It was. Yeah. But I ended up getting the second game like two days later. Yeah. Yeah, it was a pretty fun game while it lasted. Yeah, um, one thing I wish that it would have been a little bit more direct with the story. I mean, the mystery is fun and all, but uh, for some people that are less detective-like, it would have been better for them. Oh, uh, yeah. So, do you think that... Oh, what were you saying? Do you think that there's going to be another uh, game in the franchise? Yeah, um, but do you want to know the only reason why he made number six? Why? He, um, people weren't figuring out the little hints that he was placing in all of his games, so he kept having to remake it. Sister Location wasn't even exposed to come out. Um, I would kind of like to make it like an open world, like you were in a town and you had to run from the animatronics that were in it. Yeah. That would be awesome. Yeah, it's kind of a mixture of the Silent Hill games and Five Nights at Freddy's all combined together. That would be pretty cool. Yeah. So, guys, if you want a cool fan game, check in with us in like 15 years and we'll have it done. Support us on Patreon. It's <laughs> our new Kickstarter crack. Yep. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, uh, your turn to ask a question because. Okay, which one is your favorite animatronic? Your character, like your favorite character. Yeah, those are the main guys. Purple guy. Oh, you like purple guy? No, purple guy kind of weird. Yeah, he he's not actually bad. It's the other purple guy. Yeah. Uh, I would have to say that my favorite is probably. I don't know. It's, I'm gonna go ahead and go to. I know. I know you really like Foxy. Yeah, I love Foxy. question uh this is like a mini question so do you think it's weird what people um 
think about Chica. Oh, all the fan art. They made a whole bunch of fan art. They made a bunch of fan art, and it doesn't look like Chica. Are you talking about the big butt, big boob one? Yeah. Oh, God. What is that? Oh, God. Oh, my 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 God. I don't know, the weird thing is, they actually have those animations on YouTube. No way! Yeah, I ended up, um, one day I was looking at some Five Nights at Freddy's videos, and it popped up, and I was just watching the animation, and then all of a sudden, boom, boom, boom. Okay, so, um, is there one last question that you would like to ask before we wrap up, wrap up the po podcast? Um, what would you, what would you use to happen in the Five Nights at Freddy's movie? I'm going to make an assumption and believe that it's going to be somewhat based off of the first book, where, um, there's a group of kids that... Um, breaks into the pizzeria after it was shut down. Yeah. And they get attacked by all the animatronics. I think they're gonna, like, go through all the video games, and they're gonna be, like, a sequel or something. Yeah. Like, they're gonna do with the Silent Hill um, game. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. Yeah, like, they're gonna do the Silent Hill game, and then they're gonna do the Silent Hill game. Yeah. 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 And you don't see his face, but then you see a detective in the corner, just like in uh, the new Five Nights at Freddy's game. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, you see a piece of paper and stuff, and but the, you just see, but then you walk, you walk, like you look up and you see a guy in like a purple, like a piece of shirt and with purple hair or something. And he's like, hey, my name is Jeff! Oh. Okay, so last question of this podcast. I would like to ask you, what's your favorite Five Nights at Freddy's fan game? Uh, what's that one, uh, that one to the hospital one? The hospital? Yeah, the one with the hospital. I'm not sure. Okay. The only ones I've really heard of was those right those nights at Rachel's, Five Nights at Flumpty's, and um, <laughs> oh, five, yeah. five Nights at Candy's. Those are the only ones I know. Uh, yes, thank you for watching this video, and as always, click on the next video that will come out in the next, like, tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and make sure you guys push the notification bell, because if you push the notification bell, there will be a man, it's going to be a strange man, he's got a weird haircut, he's going to come to your house tomorrow, and he's going to be having some beats. And he's gonna say, I am the assistant to the regional manager. Yep. And do you wanna know what do you wanna know what he'll say? What? He'll say. She so say, Do you love me? I say only partly. I only love beats and Moe's, I'm sorry. She so said, Do you love me? I say only partly. I only love my beats and Moe's, I'm sorry.
Okay, guys, we'll end this video here, and see ya in the next video. Bye.